See you later. <laughs> wet the weather is shite on my way back from Sunday dinner lovely jubbly it was thank you Omar for cooking such a lovely dinner homemade apple sauce with some nice pork Yorker puds I know some people say that you're only supposed to have that with roast beef but fuck that I love a bit of uh, Yorkshire puds with any dinner had a nice bit of uh, sponge cake that the missus made for my mother-in-law and also some Herzog cookies like South African cookies with uh, they're like I suppose they're like little pies with jam inside so you got apricot jam traditionally um, and some coconut top creamy stuff oh, lovely lovely jubbly do, 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 do. Take it nice and easy while the roads are wet. <laughs> These bloody trousers, they like to ride up. Fucking annoying. Because when I've got my legs bent, you don't notice it if you've got big boots on, like tall boots, but I ain't got my proper biking boots on. I've just got a pair of like hiking boots on at the moment. And you really notice it when they ride up. As soon as you bend your fucking knees, they ride up like crazy. I'm actually wearing my back protector as well. I let my daughter wear it on the way up to Opar's and Omar's. Um, but I'm, wear I'm wearing it at the moment. It's not bad, it's not a massive name. It's relatively cheap. It's called Max uh, Miles Per Hour or MPH. But I'll tell you what, it does feel very secure. It's got one of those like interlocking systems in it. It covers most of your spine except for the top part. Like the very, very top. And it's actually quite comfortable. You barely know that you've got it on. I read all the reviews on it when I bought it on Amazon and it's uh yeah, had some good reviews. So I thought I'd go for it instead of spending you know, the bigger amounts. I know the Knox ones are good and the Alpine Star ones are good. I'm sure there's other makes that are really good. I just, uh, yeah, I went for this. And it's actually pretty decent for me. It feels nice. Hopefully I don't have to put it to, to the test. Normally I go around here a bit faster, but there's wet roads. Not good. Riding up big time. I must admit, the fucking <laughs> lately I've just been riding with nothing but pillions, and you notice a difference in the power <laughs> when there's when there's no one else on the back with you. It's quite nice. <laughs> It's damp, it's dreary, it's depressing, it's the UK. Not really one for complaining when it comes to when it comes to like the weather being really hot because we don't get it that often. And I know people from England, people from the UK are renowned for moaning whether it's hot, whether it's cold. It don't matter, they love to moan. Don't get me wrong, I love a good old moan as well. But yeah, I don't like to moan when it's warm because that weather's too f uh, few and far between. So I definitely don't like moaning in that situation. I moan when it's cold though, obviously. I don't want no, f I don't like the iciness. The iciness, it's no good for me. Warning, ducks. Fucking visor. Sorry if it's a bit windy, I just have to crack my visor. It's a bit misty. I ain't got a pin lock in there, so it steams up a fair old bit. I don't know if my bandana makes it worse. I think it does. Might 
to stop using the bandana. Not sure. Keeps my face all cozy though. Like a cozy. Cozy face. You know, like cozy, so cozy that it feels like you've planted your face in between two luscious thighs. <laughs> and I ain't talking about chicken thighs either. No, 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 no. Cozy face. It's steaming up again. I felt my bollocks just drop there. Woohoo! Or go up into my stomach, one of the two. Thought that car was just going to pull out on me. Woo. Luckily, the driver of the vehicle was looking. But it still shipped me up a little bit. I think I've just left a brown stain on my pants. Yep, missus, you're gonna have to be cleaning those bad boys. Let's have a little, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That's it, I'm such a fucking weirdo. But I suppose that's, that's part and parcel of being a motor vlogger, isn't it, really? Being a bit weird. Talking to yourself. I did actually see a post on Facebook the other day. And it said geniuses, or people that speak to themselves are not crazy, they're fucking geniuses. I'll go with that. That is a genius. I don't know why I keep going back to the American accent. I think it's to wind my mate up. My Yankee friend. You know who you are, traitor <laughs> Lives out in Detroit. I would class him as a really good friend. I've known him for years. Believe it or not, we met on uh, PlayStation. He's like one of the, you know, in my eyes, he's like one of the only Americans that actually properly gets my humour. Don't get me wrong, there are some light-hearted ones out there that really do get the English humour, but there's not many. A lot of Americans you come across just don't get the British sarcasm. and. He does, he's a good lad. I've always said, you know, if I come out there, he's always said, you know, he'd invite me round to his house or vice versa, or if he comes over here to, I don't know, visit the Queen or something, then he shall, long live the Queen, and then he shall uh, come and visit me. And he's, he's more than welcome, for sure. He can bring all his Oriental family as well. <laughs> he's American, but he, uh, married to a Japanese lady, very nice lady, spoken to her a couple of times, and uh, yeah, he's fucking top bloke, so he can bring his, his all of his little, little oriental warriors over, they're more than welcome to come and stay at my house, and uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of a kick about in the back garden, I ain't talking about football either. <laughs> Ooh, a bit slidey there. Whoa, slidey! I think I shit myself again. Just get proper bumpy round here. Let's see if we can get a bang on 30, yeah? 30, 30, 30, boom! Ooh, slightly up there. The trumpet out of jar face. Something like that. Something like that, boy! Hold it back in. Hold it back in. Da, 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 da. Hold it cycling. Da, da. Hold it back in. Moving on the Queen's Highway, looking like a secret landing. Da. Baby, won't you come with me? I'll take you where you want to be. Something like that, anyway by Chris Spedding, I think his name is. Motorbiking, or motorcycling, or whatever the song's called. Fucking classic. If you're, a, if you're a rider, you've definitely heard it. And if you haven't heard it, then where have you been? Where have you been, sir, if you've never heard Chris Spedding? Motorbiking, da-da. Motorbiking, da-da. Motorcycling, da-da. Moving on a Queen's Highway, looking like a secret landing. If you gotta go, go, gotta go, motorbike riding. 
sorry if I messed it up, messed up the lingo on that tune or the order of the lyrics. But um, yeah, that's how I remember it, and that's how I shall sing it. Not even a nod from that fucker. <laughs> I gave him a salute as well. Probably because I saluted him with my left hand. And we know what you're supposed to do with your left hand in some uh, beliefs. I need this, I need this hand. I need the right hand because it's my woom woom hand. Woom woom. Anyway, signing off people. I shall see you on the next one. Ride safe. Yeah, I tell you no lie. Too fast to live, too young to die. I bought a new machine today. Hey, take your breath away, motorbike. And then.